This video is probably called something like how I escaped depression in two weeks. I know what you're thinking. I know what's going through your mind. It's the same thing that would have been going through my mind. And that is <laughs> no way. No way. You do not understand what I'm going through. You do not understand this pain. So before we go even further with this video, I need to define what this feels like. You're tired. Not just sleepy tired. You're not just <laughs> aching for a nap. Not just. But you're just tired of carrying this weight on your shoulders, no interest in anything, nothing's funny, but you still consume everything that you can to fill that almost void or that almost black hole. You feel that your throat is just, that is where the black hole is. You feel it in your throat, you feel it in your heart, you feel it in your stomach. It's like a ghost is following you your whole day but you are the ghost and the and the one who's actually in the body isn't actually you you feel like you're never really there no happiness but also no sadness just emptiness nothing always thinking this is what depression feels like and we wouldn't even wish this on the enemy not that we should have enemies How did I escape depression in two weeks? Well, I had been there for years, for years. I was eight years old going to depression. I had, <laughs> ever since I was six years old, something felt off and it just got worse and worse. And then the pandemic happened, COVID happened, <laughs> and I, I got locked up in my home and I felt like I hit rock bottom that no way it could get worse than this. In two weeks from that point, in two weeks, I saw the light at the end of the tunnel. How? How did I do this? Well, first of all, with the obvious thing I said in the story, I... COVID pushed me out of my environment. And although I thought that it was such a terrible change, although in the moment it felt horrible, it felt terrible. I was stuck at home. And you know what? That gave me this environment change that I needed. But not everybody has this opportunity. Sometimes you just can't leave. Oftentimes you cannot just leave. But if you can leave, change your environment. And I understand you. I do. I completely understand you. In many ways, for years, I was not able to leave. And in many ways, the depression came back even after that. But you know what? I found the ways to deal with it. Because although you can break down, get, separate yourself from this, this bad environment, so you can build up and build a new be in this positive space, Although you can do that, not everybody can do that. So what happens when you cannot change your environment? You change your mind. You change the environment that's inside here, the environment that's telling you you're no good, the one that's telling you right now that you should click on this click, click off of this video because there is no way that you will actually be able to get out of this. And I'm telling you, already 20% of the people have but you're still here because you see hope. You have heard me speak. You have heard me describe what this feels like. And you know, you know, there's a way. For years, I struggled to see anything other than the negative. I would go outside. Oh, it's too hot. I'd go outside. It's too cold. It's too dark. It's too loud. Nothing was just right. Nothing was good. It was always cloudy. I never, and the funny thing was, I never even looked up to appreciate anything else. Just in my mind, everything was already dark. Everything was already negative. 
what did I do? Well, it starts off by asking the right question because right now you were asking the wrong question. You were asking yourself, why am I not happy? What is wrong? What is wrong? What can I stop doing? Why am I unhappy? My friend, I am telling you that is the wrong question. And if you keep asking yourself this question, you will just get worse and worse. Get digging your own grave, harder to climb out. Instead of asking yourself, why am I not happy? Ask yourself, what do, what do I have in my life that not everybody has? What do I have in my life that I am thankful for? What do I have in my life that I am grateful for? What is just a blessing? What is a gift that has been given to me? To me. There is always something you can be grateful for. There is always something that you just have that you have been given. Maybe not by a person. Maybe not by a specific circumstance. But it's just been given to you in your life by whatever, whatever it may be. Whatever higher power, whatever, whatever. I ask myself, what am I grateful for every single night for years? And you know what? Even then, even then, when I stopped asking myself this question, even then, like a week would go by, two weeks would go by. I was thinking, oh, I'm better now. Well, it's like, again, breaking down so you can build up. You separate yourself from the negative environment for a little bit, for a little bit. And then you put yourself in this wonderful, just <laughs> bubble of positivity. Just like exercise, just like a bicep curl, you need to show up or else your gains, they'll, they'll just, they'll go away. You know what? I actually, I'll show you. Look, these, these three books are filled like just cover to cover and with with things i am grateful for let's read one some of them are a bit intimate but let's see i'm grateful for november 5th 2022 i'm grateful for I'm grateful that my family friend let me work at their Little Caesars because of all the opportunities they're giving me. Oh yeah, this is when I started working at Little Caesars. I still work there. And the people there are wonderful. I'm entirely grateful for them. That's just one example. One example of hundreds. And you know what? I know what's going through your mind. I know and I understand. You think, I can't come up with anything. Maybe just one thing. Maybe just one thing, but... It's hard. It probably took you a couple seconds, a couple minutes. It's hard. And you know what? I remember the first time I did this, the first day I did this, to get five, five, I'm grateful fours because to get five of those, it took me half an hour. And it may take you longer too. It may. It really may. But we want to get out of this, don't we? There is a way. And we can take responsibility for this. We can just say that enough is enough. Ask yourself this every night. I'm grateful for because and do it five times and do it more even. The more you're able to switch yourself, separate yourself, break down from the negative and then build up from the positive. The more you can do that, it's like training a skill, training a muscle, because you know what? Happiness is a skill. It is not just a feeling like you felt all your life. It is a skill. And we can train this skill. We say what we are grateful for, not what we are lacking. Always focus on what you have, not what you don't. This changes, this also changes your physical environment. Remember how I said that sometimes you're not actually able to, to move from your from your place of just you just feel stuck i felt the same way in school every single day i'd be yelled at 
said called I was stupid. <laughs> Some days I would actually be praised for my work and then others I would be told I was dumb. <laughs> I'd come home already in a bad mood because my spirit was was <laughs> slapped in the face, beaten down. I'd come home, I'd already be in a bad mood. And then, you know what? I'd be on my phone trying to fill that, that void. The void in my stomach, the void in my throat, just that that emptiness. And looks like I forgot to take the chicken out of the freezer. Looks like I forgot to do the dishes. And my single mother, poor poor woman, <laughs> providing for two kids by herself, not seeing any recognition, having their kids feeling all this negativity. Imagine being a single mother. You work so hard no appreciation and in fact you get home after a long long day of work nobody even thanks you and now even dinner what you're supposed to make you can't even do that this changes this gratitude this this i'm thankful for this changes not only yourself not only the environment in your head it changes the environment you live in. It changes people around you. It changes their environments that they live in. You can give this gift to them. With my mother, I remember distinctly, I told her, I just told her, mom, you work so hard and I never notice it. I urge you right now, if you still live with your parents, even if you don't, give them a call right now tell them especially especially if you don't have a good relationship with them especially and you know what they might say why are you doing this like well, what's up what's up what are you trying to get out of me no you must remind yourself that love is the way you tell them i'm so grateful that that you do something just come up with something i'm so grateful that you stuck with me that even though i was so just so terrible even though I just had this pain. Even if you don't fully believe it, even, even if it's just like a little, little fraction of what you truly believe, you say it. And you just look the look on your, look the look on their face. And you know what? Even when it's hard, you put an effort to help them too. You give them recognition. This is how you change your environment because your environment, sometimes you only feel good when you're alone. But you know what? People are one of the greatest gifts in the world and i completely understand like right now we call ourselves introverted we like our own time me personally still like i i find myself in a much better state of mind and i still like my alone time because i find i can get things done but i cherish the times i'm with other people because people give you life just like we give them life we give them love if you can change a person's state if you can change their environment in their head you can change the environment around you, and you can help influence your own environment. That is how you change your environment. Now, there's another hurdle you will face. All this stuff sounds good. All this stuff sounds amazing. However, there will still be those negative thoughts that are trying to like, gnaw at you. They're trying to crawl their way back because it's years of habit or months of habit, or however long you have felt this negativity, this negative voice inside you, this voice inside you that does not serve you, that gives you pain. It is how it is <laughs> such a long time compared to now. You're trying to break through those demons. <laughs> and I've spoken about this before. If you've seen my other videos, I've spoken that love is the way and you Love your depression. What does that mean? How do you love your depression? I'll give you an example. I am grateful for my depression. I'm grateful for the years of pain I struggled. For all the fake smiles I saw at school. From the people who were 
so stressed that did not know how to show their love to me because now I understand and I appreciate where I am now. And I understand I appreciate so much more than I would have if I didn't have it in my life. And while right now you may not be able to say that, maybe a couple months, a couple years, you will be able to. I hope so. But there's another thing that you need to, there's a thing that you have to look out for. And that is the little, the little, again, the little things that are trying to crawl their way back. The way to deal with those, with those negative just thoughts that are trying to come back, these negative thoughts, feelings that are attacking you, the way you deal with them is you become aware of them. Because right now, you're going about your day, you're trying to be positive, and then eventually, you just realize, you just come to, you realize you were being negative. How could this be? How do we stop this? Because we're trying to be positive, right? We know that there's a way out. We know there is. How do we stop this? We become aware of them. We catch them. When they start coming at us, we are like, get out of the way, bro. What are you doing here? You know what? I love I love you, Pain. But just, like, it's just not your place. It's not your spot right now. The way you do this, and many people will not do this. The way you do this is you meditate. You focus on the breath. You sit down. You breathe. And you focus on it as many times as you can until eventually you realize you stopped focusing on it and then a negative thought came in. And you just let it go. And you go back to the breath. You go back to the present moment. You stop thinking about the past. Stop thinking about all the things that that hurts you. You stop thinking about the past and now you're just in the present. If we just lived in the now, there's if you live in the now, there's nothing that you can be sad about. And while that's easier said or done, again, it is a skill. I, for, for years, I think now, I've used this app. It's a charity. It's free. I have no affiliations with them, except for the fact that I use it every day. It is called Medito. I'll link it in the description below. Just do the daily meditation. You can do three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Start with three minutes and just try to do it every day and try to catch yourself because right now you are the thoughts, you are the negativity, but you know what? Eventually you'll be in the present moment. You'll be breathing and you'll just see it. You'll see the negative thought and then you can just bring yourself back to the breath and just let it fade away into love. That's it. Love is the way. There are people who are struggling just like you and you can help make a difference. Imagine, just imagine when you become better. When you wake up in the morning, you look outside and you just see how the clouds were painted that day and you can just be Imagine how far you'll go. Remember, show love, show compassion in the comments. Remember that there are people struggling just like you. Live with love. Live with integrity. And I guess I'll see you in the next one, bro.